So we're gonna start with the basics. These are some of the basic things that I like to use when I go surf fishing. We got a pyramid weight, three ounce. These are some pompano floats. If I'm pompano fishing, I like to use a two watt mustache circle hook ultra point. This is a swivel clip is what I call it. Regular swivel. For night surf fishing, glow stick. I was gonna have some nice pliers and I have like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, but this is what I like to clip. If I'm like trying to make a shark rig or use wire leader, I use this clip to you know, pinch it down to hold it. You want to have at least a 4,000 in up size reel. Uh, this is a 6,500. I also use my pin battle 4,000, 5,000. I got a pin fierce 8,000 when I'm trying to, you know, get way out there on a 10 foot surf rod. Pole holder. You always need to have a rod holder. This is a PVC rod holder. Uh, I prefer to have it a little bit longer, but this works just fine. Um, but you gotta have rod holders guys and you gotta dig them in there because I've had so many times where my uh, rod gets pulled to the ground and my rod goes towards the surf because my rod holder wasn't in deep enough because it wasn't long enough this one works just fine uh, this is a nine foot I like to use a lot of nine footers but this is a nine foot um, blue runner quantum rod medium heavy and a 15 to 25 pound uh, line weight on this rod, but you can go from anywhere from nine foot to 14 foot. I got a 10 foot I like to use too, but I like a nine footer cause it's light. I can like to hold it. It's nice when I cast out and uh, it works really good. And I catch some nice size fish on the beach. So I'm gonna show you how to tie uh, a couple of quick knots and Yep, that'll be the video, and I talk about some other, some other things in my video. But uh, let's get started. All right, guys. So this here is my 20-pound uh, monofilament leader. Um, I always start by tying my swivel clip at the bottom, and we can do about I do about eight twists. You twist it about eight times. So bring your line back through the bottom like this. Pull it tight. And then you would snip that off. Then I'll come up about a foot and I take it and I pull it together like this. Take my two fingers, go around the two fingers, pull it like this, and then I go through once, and then I do it again and go through twice. And this right here is to put your hook on. So you would take it and pinch it like this, and then you will slide your hook through and get it pinched like that the hook pull it and then you go use your hook and go between the two lines like this and bam and I do two of those and then for like the pumping up float and I love to use circle hooks on the beach, guys. 
for the floats. And you want to try to get this point right here as tight as you can so you can bite it with your teeth to make it sharper. I bit it. You can see that. And then you stick your float through first. I don't like to use beads. Stick your float through first. And then you go right back through like so with the hook. Bam. And that float comes to the bottom. That's the of fishing. This is this float keeps that bait up. Um, it'll keep it floating. You got your shrimp or whatever on there, and uh, to keep that off the ground to be floating, make it look like it's just you know swimming naturally. Um, I like to use sand fleas. Sand fleas cut mullet. And fresh peeled shrimp. A lot of people like to leave the shell on. Peel that shrimp if it's big, break it in half. And I can't tell you I'm, that works, guys. So then this little clip right here. It's my swivel clip, but this is what I like to put my hook on. I mean, not my hook, sorry. My weight. Take it and I bang it through here like this. And then boom. Your weight. You got your weight at the bottom. You go up about a foot with your hook. Go up about another foot and put another hook on there. I'm not going to put another hook on it because you get the idea. And then you take your swivel. Tie your swivel on. And do the same thing about eight twists. And then you go back through it. Like so. I can get it in there. There we go. And you just pull it. Crap. And then you just pull it tight. Like that. And then, guys, this is the whole leader. Hook at the bottom. Wait. And then swivel at the top, and that's good. You use braided line. Um, since I have monofilament on here, I just go straight to the line. I don't put a swivel, I mean, I don't put a, a leader on it. I just tie everything to the line. Um, that's what monofilament is good. Braid is, is good too, you know. Get a better cast with braid. Cast fathers uh, doesn't really break hard on uh, rocks or whatever, so. That's why braid is good. Twenty pound, fifty yards. You want a beach cart as well, too, guys. You gotta get your beach cart um, because it is not fun to pull a cooler if you ain't got a beach cart. A carry that cooler if you're pulling it on just like a wagon. You need a beach cart with the beach tires on it to pull that thing on the surf because I'm telling you it is a pain in the butt um, to do that. Um, so, you know, glow sticks at night. Like I said earlier, if you want night fish, put these glow sticks on the tip of your rod so you can see them things at night because you won't be able to see anything, I promise you. Um, unless it's a full moon, but it's still easier to have that glow stick out there. So... And like I said, peel your shrimp. Do not leave the shell on your shrimp. Peel your shrimp and um, break them in half. I'm telling you, pompano love them. I catch redfish like that, pompano. Big redfish with, with a nice chunk of cut mullet. Um, and then the sand fleas for pompano. I have a lot better luck using peeled shrimp, though. You will not relieve how those pompano like that peeled shrimp. Um, also... Go to Google Maps before you go on the beach. Uh, look at the water. Make sure like you can find deep spots or sandbars. That works really good, guys. Um, so scout your spots before you go. And uh, that is about it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I am out.